area for this to work. Okay, well, do your thing, and I'll take over from there. It's simple. I measure the... Eh, don't go all school teacher on me. Right. Forgot. Figure out anything exciting? There's a lot of power output coming from this place, so it's hard to get a lock on the chair. But we'll get a lock on it eventually, right? I need more time. Okay, time to get that. Just you, and you'll have to take the quick way. The Deckers may already be destroying the chair to keep it from us. There's a quick way? Yeah, jump. <laughs> Here I go. Kinsey. Cut the chair from their system by disabling the router connections. So basically I press the off button. That's what I said, wasn't it? That wasn't much of a fight. What is Miller doing, anyway? Planning the next world war? It's what I do. There's the chair. to nail. Too much for you?
There's no sense in hiding. That was a Servite's dancing. Okay, the routers are shut down. The turret's still pulling power from the system. I don't get it. Maybe because it's still plugged in? Oh, cut that link too. Pierce, you know if that chair thing is ready yet? I don't know. Why ask me? Talk to Kenzie or Oleg. Cause you, I can understand. Think they said they'd be done pretty soon. We could probably head over whenever. Alright, see you when I get there. After that, I could use a massage. You ready to fuck things up in virtual reality? Safer than being shot at. You can survive a gunshot, but if your mind takes too much shock in this chair, you'll go brain dead. Great plan, Kenzie. I know. You ready? Let's do it. You should be seeing a visual representation of the Decker you sent now. What's with that toilet? Oh my god, that's me! Oops, sorry about that. Let me load up another. So fucking not cool! I haven't finished your avatar yet. That one's just temporary. Why would you even give me this? Ugh. Just start moving through the data. I'll sort it out soon. Great, now I'm a walking sex joke. You're complaining, you big baby. No problem. Wow, this is... this is better. Good, because Matt sniffed me out. This is my world to shape as I see fate, not yours. <laughs> Alright, looks like Matt doesn't want you poking around here. You'll have to work your way through his defenses. Let's take out the firewall first. Right. What is that exactly? It blocks the 
from accessing the Decker's data. You'll know when you see it. Chip to nail. Something's wrong, Kinsey. He's altering the world's reality there. You'll just have to deal. Longer than that. Oh, I love these. I'm happy for you. Now, how do I get past? And ruin it for you? No way. You've got to figure this out on your own. Seriously, spoilers are fine by me. You. Then make that shit bigger. What did the writer have against unicorns? I said nap. Big fucking surprise. Ah, fuck doors. I'm fucking nimble, damn it! Shitty craftsmanship. Anything else I don't know shit about? I'm not going to be beaten by some noob you dragged into my world, Kensington. Okay, we're back in business. Now let's take out Matt's antivirus next. I'm up for more. You said you had this, Kinsey. But I didn't! I think this is more fitting. Wouldn't you agree? Give me some time, I'll fix it. Hey, I'm still packing my cannon. Pull out the cord or something? He's bombarding us with data. I'll try blocking it. Was it too much for you? Be gone. We 
Okay, the antivirus is almost taken care of. You'll need to destroy the last bit of code. A toilet, a sex doll, and now a tank. Just go with it. In your dreams, kid. Stop! I'll remember this one. <laughs> Count up on the last wall. It's his internet security protocols. They're blocking access into the main... Uh, I don't need to know. <laughs> Modeled this shit off of Nightblade. It's an allegory for man's inhumanity to man. It's a shitty vampire show. I don't expect a chuckle fuck like you to appreciate good writing. No problem. Good at lying under pressure? Why aren't you dying? He's scared. Go to the cathedral and finish him off. And those giant tubes are just happy fun slides, right? Must be his direct feed into the world, while his information flows through. Yeah, that's definitely a trap. Sometimes at least try lying. to laugh when you're hiding like a pussy. Come on out! Glad. What the fuck? Don't you get it? I'm God here. That's just fine. In the real world, you're just a bitch with a keyboard. Real world, this world, it's all the same for kicking your ass. Alright, just don't die until I figure out how to copy his avatar. You're expected to beat me with that thing. Hold on, he depowered your weapon. I'm fixing it now. Bring it! I'll kill you one way or another. <laughs> Cheesiest line you have? Get off me and fight! <sighs> Without power, you may as well give up. Kiss you right now. 
Still think I'm just a pretty face? Again. You're on even ground now. Should be a piece of cake. Glad you think so. Bye, Matt. Ugh. I can clear your name! Prove that you didn't destroy that bridge! I'm sure Kinsey can figure it out. I literally have the world at my fingertips. It's a little vague, Matt. Gotta do better. You tell me the name of a company, and it becomes the property of the Saints. You get your empire back, and I get to walk away. Kid? No, we're talking. Okay, what's with the doors? They're back doors into company records. One door leads to a weapons manufacturer, giving you discounts on weapon upgrades. Right, and this one? An automotive parts distribution house. They'll discount work done on your cars. Pick one and I'll get you set up as a high-priority client, I swear! I really wish you'd reconsider, Maddie. These hands of mine were meant to rend bone, not hunt and peck on a keyboard. Oh, well, if typing's the issue, I can recommend some good voice recognition software. I, I know the best... Shh. You stuck with me when I rose from Philippe's ashes like a phoenix. You and me, we've bonded. Oh, that's lovely, but I feel it's time for me to move on. To, to, to be honest, I'm a little scared of... Well... Dying. I do run a demanding workplace. Maddie, I appreciate how you shared your concerns. I mean, the way Viola and Kiki handled their uh, departures made me just want to kill someone, you know? Oh, absolutely. Well, I've got a flight to catch, so. Maddie. Oh, God. Feel free to list me as a reference anytime.
With Stag in town, we need to be... Careful, Pierce. Huh? Oh yeah, I totally agree. Our place might be compromised. Uh-huh, whatever you say. And we should get some horses and mount a charge on Stag. All right, I'll get on that. Damn it, Pierce. I'll be over in a bit. Sure. See you soon.